I am the grandmother of Benjamin Brothers, who was a student at Menlo College. I would like to tell you my story. I was born in Iraq. My family dates back 2,500 years in Iraq. They were there all that time. So it is my country as much as anybody else's who lives in Iraq. I grew up there, had a happy childhood, and during World War II, the Germans were advancing on the Middle East. The Arabs were all pro-Nazi. Even though the British were quite a big presence in Iraq, Iraq was a British mandate, the Arabs hated the British. In anticipation of the Germans arriving in Iraq, the Arabs staged an insurrection against the Jews and they looted Jewish businesses, they shot people on the street, and in general it was unsafe for us, the Jews, to be out on the streets. So we stayed at home, we didn't go to school. My father decided it was not safe for our family to stay in Iraq any longer, so he sent us, the family, to India, where really it was quiet, nothing was going on, there was no war. So we took a ship to India. But being that it was wartime, it was not safe to travel by ship. There were, there were mines everywhere. A trip that ordinarily would have taken one week from Basra, Iraq, to Bombay, India, took three weeks because we had to travel in convoy. We were surrounded by ships, British warships, as well as a minesweeper that preceded our ship. Uh, in any case, we eventually got to India, and we settled there. A year later, Japan entered the war. As a result, the Japan was marching through southeastern Asia with a great deal of success, and before you know it, they were in Burma. Burma is right next door to India. In the meantime, things had settled down in the Middle East. There was no war there. Everything was quiet and peaceful, so my father decided we should go back to Iraq at that point, and we did. But all along, we felt one day we would like to come to America. So we were working on getting a visa to, to the United States. Uh, our visa came around 1948, but I also want to point out that in 1947, the United Nations approved the partition of Palestine, and half of it was to go to the Jews, and half of it was to go to the Arabs. Uh, however, this didn't sit well with the Arabs. They didn't want to share Palestine with the Jews. They wanted to have it all. so. They decided they would like to go, they were going to go to war with the Jews. So we were aware of this in Iraq, and things were heating up for the Jews. It wasn't safe to be there anymore. So in February of 1948, we left for the United States. And I think we were the last Jewish family to leave Iraq legally with a passport and a visa. We were very fortunate to be in the United States, and I have to tell you, having lived elsewhere, that this is the only country to live in. This is safe, this is democratic, this is wonderful, it's uh, a, boiling, uh, a boiling pot, it's, it's got all nationalities, which make it more interesting and more colorful and uh, the population is uh, certainly very colorful, and that is a good thing.